wanted to show you guys how I'm going to create a template with my Cricut. So just to show you guys, I have the Cricut Explore Air 2. So this is the sign that I picked up at the thrift store that I'm going to be using. It's a cute sign, but it's just not what I'm wanting. So I am going to be painting over this. I found a template online. So right now, this is my cutting mat. So I want to see how much room I have. So I know I can definitely go at least 12 inches. And then coming down, I don't want it to be more than 9 inches. So when I go into the design space, I want it to be 12 by 9. So on my computer, this is the little quote that I'm going to use. And right now you can tell that it's 21 by 14, which is way too big. So I need to scale this down um, for what I'm going to cut. So I'm just going to drag this. And I said I wanted it to be 12 by 9. So if I do... I want it to be as big as possible on the long end. So that makes it 12 by 8. So I think I should be able to cut that. I'm just using super cheap contact paper from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that to cut my template out. And so the only thing I need to do is come up here and put it on the right setting. So this needs to go to vinyl. And then you press this button and that is going to load in. Now I'm going to click on make it. And now it's going to sync up with my Cricut. Your Cricut's ready to cut whenever this is um, flashing. So all I have to do is press that. And then we hope that everything gets cut out. I kind of hold on to this page down here just to like make sure because sometimes things will start ripping or maybe you haven't like pressed it down. So if you're here, you can press it down. You also want to make sure I didn't do this before. You want to make sure that this is pulled out far enough from the wall because this goes back on both sides and you don't want it to hit the wall. From there, I'm going to use my Cricut tool to just weed out all of the letters that are inside my template. And I'm just discarding them because I'm not going to use them. I'm going to put the piece that's still on my mat for painting my sign. Once I get all of the letters weeded out, I'm just going to pull this off of the backing that I used to cut it out, and then I'm just going to cut the excess at the top so it's easier to put on my stencil. And then I'm just going to peel it off and put it onto my stencil. If you wanted to, you could use a transfer tape to put it on. That makes it easier to put it on, but sometimes I'm lazy and I just pull it off and put it straight on there. Now when you do do that, you have to go back in and all the little pieces that are attached, you need to come back and put on. Next, I'm just coming in with some cheap paint that I picked up at Walmart and I'm going to use that for my sign. 
and I am just going to be lightly dabbing in two thin coats. It's better to do two thin coats when you're painting versus one big coat because it's gonna get gloppy and nobody wants that. So do one coat, let it dry, and then come back in with another one. And then while it's still pretty much wet, you can take your stencil off, and I'm gonna just start in one corner, pull it off easily. And then you'll just have to go back in and take the little areas out that were in the stencil. From there, I decided I wanted to add some beads around the border. So I shopped around and I ended up finding these beads at Michael's. And for this whole container, it was $8, which seems like quite a bit. This pack came in three different sizes and I ended up using the larger ones all around. So I figured I used about a third of the package to do this sign. And then I'm just hot gluing them in place with my hot glue gun. I'll link in the description box where you can pick up my hot glue glue gun but um, I checked on Amazon Hobby Lobby for these beads and this was the best deal I could get for the project that I was doing. So happy with the way this sign turned out. I put it in my half bath that I'm going to be showing you the new remodel shortly and I just love the way it looks with some flowers underneath. Have you guys checked out my spring house tour? If not, I'm going to link it right here so you guys can watch that video next and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!